in today's video, I'm gonna post or repost a video that I'm gonna use as a case study and tell you why the Holy Spirit can save your marriage. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, I'm going to go ahead and play this clip. Stick around to the end for the commentary. I really need to talk to you about something. I don't know how you're going to take this, but I have talked Would to you. you no, I have talked to you about these numerous of times and I feel like you're not listening to me. You're not understanding what I'm saying. You hear me, but you not taking the time out to really understand what I'm saying. You you don't take me out. You don't spend no quality time with me. I feel like I'm just a body and you just there. Like we just there. And I feel like it's more to a relationship. It's not even I feel like I know it's more to a relationship than just I don't know what this is because I don't feel like we in a relationship. I feel like because you're my we roommate. Because we're not going out having dinner at five star restaurants and shit. No, because even even when you come home, you don't acknowledge me. You always tired or something like that. Yeah, hey, that cone was working 14 hours. But what they have to do with Physical you, labor. Okay, but what they have to do with you acknowledging me. Well, it walking. take energy. And it take rest in order to be able to mind contribute that to you. I don't, I'm one man. But you always working. I mean, you always resting. So when to is go the to time? Work. Okay. So when is the time gonna be put? You can't even sit down and watch a movie with me. I mean, I mean, it's a reason and an explanation for all this. It wasn't like this before. So what you did, what you did, just to get me in. See, that's crazy. What's crazy about it? I'm just like, being, see, now I'm really just being open with you and well, telling may, you. May, maybe because since getting with you, you start wanting more and more things that, that requires me to go to work and be more and more tired. See, you don't believe in the long haul. See, that's the bullshit. Y'all want this microwave shit and y'all. Instead of you actually crafting the, the the art of food and putting recipes and putting it in the ovens and allowing itself to go through a process. This shit is the same way. I'm not finna sit up here, man, and, and you tell me what you want. You want to visit. You want to take trips overseas. You want a wedding. You want a new car. You want this. You want that. And then you expect me to still have the same drive as I did as if it was just me. No, I'm actually working my not only to provide my habits, but to provide yours as well. To give you what you think you deserve or what but you want. But when you when you become when you get in a relationship, you Sometimes become selfless. You gotta you don't, be. You don't, you don't, you what the fuck selfless. you think I'm being? Selfless. I, I, I don't have to work. You don't. I, you, don't, I don't take, you don't take me. Out. I you don't, don't do require nothing. my life before you didn't require all this hustling. It didn't. My and life my was life simple. It might not require all what it do before you. That's why I said when you get in a relationship, you become selfless. So, so it's stuff that you do that uh, I I didn't have to do before getting with you, and same on vice versa. So you see, okay. Up so why are you complaining about me working and I'm not doing things about you working. to bring yo to bring this shit to fruition I'm not that you about asking you working. me for? What I'm asking you, you saying is, I'm you tired. Spend quality time with my, me. My my listen. Quality time, what you think that is? You don't do nothing but come in there and go to day. sleep. I fix you something to eat, feed you, you take a bath, you go I'm to sleep. Because I'm tired from working. It ain't no pleasing you. If I'm, not at true. if I'm at the why house, you, why you take if it? I'm at the motherfucking house, it will be a problem. Now that I'm from the house, 
it's still a problem because I'm trying to go, the more I'm from the house is me putting in time and work to compensate the trips and all the other things you want. And if I was at the house and I wasn't, and, and what your dreams and admirations and shit wasn't matching my hustle, you would really have an issue. Because I'm always at the house. You trying to make it TV. seem as though I'm having an issue with you, you working. You trying to make it seem like why I'm, else would I be tired? Stanley, I'm talking about you seeing up there spending quality time with me. We can do in the house. I work six days a week. You constantly talking about you working. See you. You not listening That's to what I'm saying. That's a big component of why I'm tired. Okay, so what I just supposed to do? Just you supposed to be patient. Sacrifice. Chill, relax. You got a life outside of me. Go hang out with your friends. Who said I want to do that all the time? But you, but if you sit up here and you want me to do two things that that is impossible for me to do, be at home to spend time with you while simultaneously make money, which gonna require me to be from home in order to mind give you everything you ask me for. That's why I'm telling you, there's a life outside of me. Go hang with your friends and shit into to, to, to the time being, bro. Like, I can't sit up here and, 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 and be at the house and expect money and all these things to just fall. That ain't how this shit work. And you know this not how it work. If it's just an excuse for you to go off and be with somebody else, do I it. don't want to be with nobody else. But I'm trying to else. make it like I'm not I do not want to be with nobody else. That's why I'm constantly saying something to you. Well, my, my, even if we do in-house dating, even if it's just, babe, let's watch a movie listen, together tonight. What's wrong with, listen, what's wrong with sitting at that? What, what, what's wrong with being bored? Watching a movie together? That you already watched the TV. What is you saying? After working six days a week, I want to watch what I want to watch. I want to watch what I want to watch. Why you can't find liking in things that I want to watch? They're going to sue I've been doing this the whole time. See, you, be, see, you do this right here. This your problem. How? You, so you, me you doing do this, all this. How is this? How do that go with me expressing myself and how I feel? About our relationship, how I feel about you. Because how does you're that go? And you don't know what's real. You don't know what's going on. I do know what's real. So, but okay, I know so my you just don't give a fuck too. about me then. It's all about you. Because yeah, after telling you, telling you what's going on and what's real, you still celebrate talking about you, you, you. And, now, and for some reason, the reason why I'm tired is because of you. Because you want all this extravagant bullshit. Okay, well then, X out all that then. I don't want none of that. I just want time with you. Then See, you women say one want, thing, and then you, you do to, something totally you're trying different. To make it, you trying to put it solely on me. I don't want all of that then. Well, before you came in my life, it was simple. My life was very simplistic. I didn't care of to do course. all that extra shit My life was about. simple too. Everybody life be simple before they bring shit. a person in their life. For you, you coming around talking all this, man, going overseas, traveling and doing all this and extra And you say you want to do it too. I'm not because the Because you that. speaking about doing it. Okay. I can go down to New Orleans and eat some gumbo. I'm okay. good. Okay. If I, if, 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 it's only one, it's, it's only crazy. 24 is, hours in a this day. This is crazy. I see now we do not have the same Man, vision or the same. <laughs> we done grew apart. Just go find you somebody, man. They can please you. Cause I ain't, I, I ain't here for it. You ain't for the And that's the thing. I'm not even trying to find nobody else. I want it from you. What I'm telling you to. All right. Man, you know, after seeing this argument, take about you know between this man and this woman man I realized before I got filled with the Holy Spirit as a man I did not have to I did not have the patience uh, to deal with a woman that's fully given into her emotions man before I got filled with the Holy Spirit the Ruach HaKodesh Man, I was a married man that that lacked the patience to deal uh, with a woman fully giving in to the full vent of her emotions, you know. And part of the 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 fruit of the spirit is, is patience, 
temperance, joy, long suffering. And you need that young men and women, men and women need the Holy Spirit. If you are trying to do marriage without the Holy Spirit, it is going to be hard, man. I've been, I've been that guy, you know, in marriage without the Holy Spirit. That's like flip that you go find somebody else. Cause I wouldn't be doing all this. Like he was saying, if you wasn't asking for all this, I was kind of like him, man. I, hey, I'll, I'll, uh, man, I'm fine with just going, you know, we can go two dollars down the road, eat some good food, you know, travel to another city. My man said, man, I'll be fine with going to New Orleans, eating some gumbo. And I want you to understand, men, I encourage you, man, uh, to be filled with the Holy Spirit, to seek out truth, because a woman giving full vent to her spirit, because a woman giving full vent to her emotions, Hasatan, Satan will use that, the devil, the adversary will use that against you to wear you out. And y'all gonna wear each other out because you lack patience. See, another way, man, women are, uh, they, they, words, words and, and things that impact their feelings, you know, are how they comprehend logic. So you have to say like, hey, you remember you said you wanted to go on this trip. So, you know, I, I, I'm working six days a week, now, if you don't want to go on this trip and you want to go, you know, somewhere else that's not as expensive, man, I can, I can be home uh, two days instead of just getting one day off. But I've been trying to, I've been trying to crank it out because this trip, you said you want to do a uh, white water rafting. You said you want to do this and ride this and do that and stay in this kind of hotel in order to do that, man, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get these hours in. And, and you have to you have to put a course of action out there to where she'll receive like, oh, I really want to go to this trip. He's really out here working. You see what I'm saying? Women want to know the end goal. Women want to know the end state. So as a man, that Holy Spirit, even if you know you haven't been spending time with your wife the way you want to because you're working, man, you, you, you'll you let her know that her work is not in vain. Man, I thank you for this, man. Even, even though I, I appreciate this, man, I'm so tired from work, but... I appreciate the sandwich, the meal you made. You know what I'm saying? Helping helping me meet the mission of, uh, you know, taking care of this family. There's gotta be some, you know, and as, as, a, as a woman, when you're filled with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is not gonna lead you to be ungrateful. The Holy Spirit is not gonna lead you to be self-centered. It'll give you some, it'll give you uh, the fruit of the Spirit so you can suffer long. Without the spirit, you don't want to suffer long. You don't know how many times I've been in that boat where I'm getting woe out because I don't have patience. My woman don't have patience, and I'm like, flip that, flip that, man. We'll go down there and this will be done. But now, man, I understand, and it's not, it's not easy. I ain't gonna lie, as a woman or a man, because the 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 flesh is at war with the spirit. So your flesh don't want to, uh, you know, operate in the in the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh. Your flesh want to do what it want to do, you know? And you think about that, man, I wish I had the, uh, the link. Man, I wish I had, man, I wish I had like uh, the original link, but you know how it is. People just post and, and chop around these clips. So I don't even know, but you know, you got a family and you got kids and you got stuff that's got to be done, you know, as a man, it's going to take a lot of work and you're going to be tired as a woman. You're going to be tired as a man, you know, trying to provide, but man, the fruit of the spirit, the Holy spirit will give you exactly what you need if you seek it and you will, you will fail without the Holy spirit. When we look at the current rate of divorce, over 50% of marriages end in divorce. 70% of those marriages is filed by women. The statistic goes up to 90% when they're college educated. Your marriage will fail without the Holy Spirit. Man, the word says, 
The sanctified wife sanctifies the unbelieving husband. Man, the word says the sanctified husband sanctifies the unbelieving wife. And the sanctified wife sanctifies the unbelieving husband. Think about that. Somebody in the house got to have some patience. Man, when you see a woman giving full vent to her emotions, you got to think, man, the most how y'all put a woman under a man because of a man's logic. Don't no woman want a man giving full vent to his emotions. Likewise, man, in order to be able to comprehend each other, you're going to need that Holy Spirit as the glue, that Ruach HaKodesh, because it's going to be hard, harder than hard. Both of y'all fleshes is working against one another. And, you know, this woman, you got to think, man, this man might have been at work, you know, punching in and punching out truly to take care of the family. And this man said before his life, before this, his life was simpler. His life got elaborate and extravagant when she started demanding all this stuff. So you have to think as a woman, when your emotions is telling you to doggone uh, come at your husband a certain way and you ain't got an ounce of logic, I want you to understand he ain't gonna receive that. And that Holy Spirit will help you articulate yourself in a manner to where you're not wearing out your husband. You know? Men out here, man, women need that. They need that attention. And more than ever, more than ever in this daytime and hour when they can go to all these other places and get it, you know, unrighteously. So you're going to have to, it, it, it's going to have to be, that Holy Spirit will make you uh, compromising, give you a more of a compromising spirit for the sake of a fam, for the sake of the family. Her demands wasn't, you think about just watching a movie. That's all you want, just to watch a movie? Her demands wasn't that high. This man got a whole day off, you know. He can watch TV the rest of the day, but I would charge it to the game. You said you want to watch a movie. I watch the movie with you. And be present in watching that movie. And then once, once the man fulfills what was your initial request, don't try to wear him out with all this additional stuff you didn't add it on because, you know, you asked for an inch, and then you tried to take a mile when he gave you an inch. A nagging wife will a nagging wife will run a man off, and she'll be out there talking my uh, well, God bless me with this divorce and all of that. No, 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 no. A, no, no man want a nagging wife. And naturally, uh, if a woman don't have the Holy Spirit, she's gonna nag. Naturally, if a man don't have the Holy Spirit, he's gonna lack patience. He's going to lack having an understanding peach. He's going to lack having an understanding spirit, you know, an understanding nature that can uh, articulate himself. You got to understand, these people talk about communication issue. See, the, the, the oftentimes the communication issue is there is no glue. There is no uh, mediator between a man's logic and a woman's emotions. She's steady talking about how she feel and feelings Feelings, when you think about it, feelings are not fact. Fact can be proven by logic. In order to bridge that hard gap, you gonna need the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit can save your marriage. The word says, man, in all you're getting, make sure you get an understanding. Closer to Yah Ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Bow.